All right, in part two, we're going to work on getting all of the brake lines and calipers moved over to the new chassis. Uh, about 10 years ago, I replaced all the brake lines, proportioning valve, rebuilt all the calipers, all new hoses. Uh, they still look like they're in really good shape. There's very few miles on them and it was sat in the garage most of the time anyway. So we're gonna move all those over to the new chassis. I had also rebuilt all of the calipers. They still look pretty good. So we're gonna go with those for now. Uh, this chassis has the Ride Tech True Turn, uh, and it does have, I do have the brackets to reuse the factory brakes. Uh, later on, we'll switch it over to some Willwoods or something. But for now, to get it running, we'll use those uh, brake lines. We're also going to get started on the metal repair. As I showed you in part one, we have quite a bit of rust to take care of. The floor itself is actually pretty good. I can't shove a screwdriver through it, uh, but we're going to take out those seat belt pockets and uh, repair all the rest. Uh, let's get started. And I'm working on getting the metal brackets out of the nose of the car because they're rusty and I want to treat the corrosion. I'm just using a screwdriver and a hammer and they seem to be coming out okay. Drill the rivets on the outside. Uh, so here's how I did it. So I started working on the floor panes and I found they were worse than I thought. All the way up into there. and back where the seat bolts down. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the four planes.
So what I found works the best is, as I've shown, you cut, fit in the car, cut, foot in the car, and keep going until you get it to fit well. How I tell if it's in the right place, before I took it apart, I set up these boards in here and I mark you know, where it's supposed to sit. And then from there, I measure until I get all the points to match up. So, as I was showing, don't be afraid to manipulate the panel. They don't come, they don't fit perfect when you get them. So, hey, we'll keep going. Okay, we got the floor pans in for the most part. You can see they, they look pretty level. Uh, the whole inside's welded in. I just need to do the grinding. I still need to get these outside corners built in. That part didn't come with the floor pan. Not a big deal. And then finish on the inside as well. We got most of the brakes moved over. As you can see, I do have one problem now. The, because of the new control arms, the parking brake cable is rubbing up against the brake hose, so I'm going to have to manipulate that mount and get those hoses to route on the inside, on both sides. I was wrong, I, don't, I didn't have the right brackets to retain the factory brakes or the front hubs, but I've already purchased them, I just gotta pick it up. So that'll get put together once I get those parts. I think that'll take care of part two. Stay tuned for part three.